Hello and good morning, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to another installment of the Atrium Investor Story Series, where we share genuine experiences from a real investor that will undoubtedly motivate and assist you in your financial journey. I am Jaja Monzon, Product Development Manager and your host for today. Watch your interviews to be mo motivated and learn why you should begin your investment journey right away because their story can be your story. If you have questions, you may send them as early as now by clicking on the Q&A below your screen. Before we begin, I'd like to let you know that the session will be recorded and that copies will be disseminated as well as posted on all our social media platforms. If you are just starting out in this world of finance and investments or a seasoned investor who would like to be in the loop for the latest investment news and strategies, we have some wonderful resources to get you started. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Atram Studio. If you have any friends who you think would like this webinar but are unable to attend, a replay of this session will be posted on our official YouTube channel. Don't forget, to click the notification bell so get so you can get notified on all your devices when new videos are uploaded also please don't forget to visit our website www.atram.com.ph for more detailed information about all the funds that we offer you may also scan the qr code to visit our official social media pages we would like this webinar to be as interactive as possible, so please don't hesitate to send your questions in the Q&A tab. All throughout the webinar, as we'll try to answer as many of your questions as possible. We will be also wrapping up with a quick feedback survey after the webinar, so we do hope you can share your thoughts with us about our session today and how we can further improve our webinar series. So without further ado, let's begin. Our first speaker has a YouTube lifestyle channel where he discusses a lot of investments and personal finance. Along with being a full-time Airbnb host, he has prior experience in banking, telco, advertising, and e-commerce. Let us all welcome Mark Singh. Hi, good day, Mark. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. How are you today? Hi, Jaja. Uh... Good day. Um, thanks for inviting me. Um, feeling good today. Excited to be talking to you guys. Yeah, we're also excited to hear kung saan mo narinig si Atram. Diba? Parang, uh, <laughs> did you hear it online? Uh, Viber community? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yung first, uh, first time ko narinig si Atram was actually uh, when G-Invest came out. No? So, Mm -hmm. Um, syempre, uh, binusisi ko muna before, uh, before really looking to invest. Um, and then, you know, I was glad to find out na, uh, you know, I, I wasn't sure about dun sa technicalities or legalities, pero, mm -hmm. um, I was pretty sure na G, G, na Globe or Gcash couldn't do it by themselves. So, dun ka nakita mm -hmm. na, yun pala, there's Atram, ATR, Asset Management, and then I was like, ah, okay, that, that's good na. Um, these guys look legit. These guys look, uh, look like <laughs> they know what they're doing. <laughs> Having said that, no, Mark. So when you first started investing, were you scared? Were you nervous? Or what was your feeling back then? Yung nag-start ka pa lang mag-invest. Yes. Uh, sorry, is this specific to Atram or in investing in general? Uh, investing in general, yeah. Is it uh, your, uh, what's your first investment pala? No, actually, I started investing um, when I graduated from college. Uh, so nearly 20 years ago. Na, um, so I started, uh, at that time, ang available lang talaga was the local stock market. Eh. So okay. um, so through direct online. Stocks. Yeah, direct stocks. May online brokerages, mm -hmm. eh, but uh, uh -huh. there are very few. Also... Um, I started investing also in UITFs um, mm -hmm. through banks at this time. It was completely, ano pa yun, you have to go through the bank, they issue you some, <laughs> some yeah, um, certificate. certificate. Uh -oh. yeah, so it's been a while. Uh, yun yung first investments ko, um, mm -hmm. actually. Uh, so that, that was mid-2000s. Mid so 
yun nga, almost 20 years ago na. So, oh, tagal na pala, no? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, how did I feel uh, when, you know, oh, yeah. my first time investing was, uh, of course, medyo takot. Um, mm-hmm. But also excited because, you know, you're, you get to, to see these things on TV. And then, um, I was always curious about that. And then, pero now you can take part of it. So, exciting. Mm-hmm. So, parang it was really adulting earlier on. <laughs> okay. So, matagal na pala. So, eh, so, my goal, syempre, my goal ka na nun, di ba? When you start investing, di ba? So, somehow ba were you able to achieve uh, those goals that you set for yourself? Like, siguro, 15% of that goal, 20%, or nasa 90% of the goal that you set na achieve mo na? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so, so it's been a while. No? Uh, <laughs> no. I don't know specifically what, but... Um, mm-hmm. But for me, kasi it, I, I I made it a habit to be always um, putting in on some market. Uh, mm-hmm. Not so much. Matipid kasi ako eh, so hindi ako you know specific na mm-hmm. I'm gonna buy this or that. So uh-huh. it's really more of um, looking for something that that works better than a uh, bank account. So mm-hmm. ano siya talaga? Parang kasi it's the same thing eh. Um, uh-huh. Hindi very hindi mo gagamitin. So might as well be somewhere. Na mm-hmm. it has a higher chance of you know of uh, uh-huh. getting something quicker in return. Of course, may risk, okay. but mm-hmm. uh, uh-huh. uh, generally, yun 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 yung mindset ko na more of always all my funds para laging rainy day rainy day funds siya hindi siya travel fund or anything. Um, so something something I can uh, always reach out to uh-huh. just for uh, that. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, so you invest, parang nagko-cost averaging ka, and at the same time, when you have an available fund. So, you don't invest based on your emotion or impulse lang, biglang, uy, bumagsak yung market, mag invest ako. Ay, bumaba yung, parang bumaba yung stocks, mag invest ako. Parang hindi ganun. So, just, you just do it regularly. Uh, actually, good you mentioned that. Ma. Siguro earlier on, siguro in my younger years, kasi, mm-hmm. um, Madadala ka talaga eh. So, uh, madadala ka nung, hindi madadala na trauma, madadala ka nung emotion nung news. Of course, you're reading news. Yes, oo happening. naman. Uh-huh. Um, especially me, no? I was invested during the subprime mortgage crisis in the US, which was the global uh-huh. recession in 2008. So, of course, I couldn't help it na kahit pa paano, you're like, oh, sige, out muna ako sa ganyan, or um, uh, maybe buy more. Um, uh-huh. So earlier on, of course, there there were there there were those times na you were I was really learning, uh, mm-hmm. learning experience na. And then eventually you find out dapat ko pala dapat pala hindi ko na lang binenta kasi okay naman uh-huh. pala, hindi naman pala. Um, so I think that's the that's actually the most normal. Oh, experience <laughs> na, <laughs> na parang so now I don't panic anymore. So now now mas ano na ako mas. Uh, I don't really. Ngayon, de ba? Like it's really down, so I'm not yeah. panicking. It's really a time to buy, actually. Um, pero hindi mo hindi rin yung like sobrang aggressive. So now I'm I'm more relaxed and really more for the long term. So I'm not I'm not trying to time it na na. na Oh. Kaya ano ano lang. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what really motivated you to ano to invest? Yung talagang uh-huh. Motivation. Um, mm-hmm. I think all of us, <laughs> we just want to be rich. <laughs> we, <laughs> good, uh, good. Actually, lahat naman. <laughs> uh, um, and yun nga, like, I, 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 I like to save. Um, and mm-hmm. yeah, for me, I, I find comfort in, you know, having reserves, having... having. Parang yung, you have peace of mind, no? That you have yes. something there na... Pwede having, fun, anytime. Uh, having funds in the bank, I mean, mm-hmm. having emergency now, I mean, especially diba, with the, what the pandemic has taught us na mm-hmm. um, you can really lose your your way of living or at least, alam mo, mababawasan siya uh, for a time, especially if uh, uh-huh. really if, um, if you're in business, such, such as myself. So, um, so it's, it's, it, that's my motivation for investing. I mean, it, um, it was motivated for that uh, ayun nga, younger, yung desire to really 
to have a lot, but uh, uh-huh. but later on it's also it's it's just being prudent about uh, how you uh, deal with with uh, with your funds, with what you earn, you know, and so. Yeah, kasi parang nakaka-surprise lang kasi you started 2005. So, 2005, parang ganun, di ba? Parang hindi pa ganun talaga masyado ka-popular yung UITF, yung uh-huh. mutual funds. And before talaga malalaki pa yung yung initial investments, di ba? Yes. So, uh, right now, um, I heard that uh, you're also invested in some of the online platforms. Yes. In GCash particularly. So uh-huh. how do you find investing in GCash? Kasi syempre, na-experience mo na magsulat sa papel, <laughs> application, di ba? And right now, syempre, online na lahat. Can you share your experience? Yes, uh, with with GCash specifically. No? I mean, it's it's very easy kasi your um, practically everything is online din nga before i had to sign stuff submit diba? id Uh-oh. submit your photo <laughs> of a picture pa ako uh, may one by uh, one pa <laughs> uh, yun, uh, selfie na lang yung usually yung um, verification and uh and, uh, by a seat box na it's actually a call no na yes. they see that you're a living breathing creature on With paper your id in flash in your face na no? uh, yes so but uh, I think for me that my biggest point of interest with Gcash, uh, Gmvest, and with Atram is um, before nga when I invest, sobrang laki ng minimum, especially when you're yes. doing equity funds. Mm-hmm. Um, That's right. Sobrang laki na alam mo yan, na you're not mm-hmm. sure if you should do it because tat- magtatabi ka talaga. Um, but with Gcash, diba, it's as slow as 50 pesos. Correct. And for the uh, so sorry for for local funds it's fifty pesos and then for the foreign funds it's a thousand so yeah. uh, it's a no brainer for me na parang uh, it's much easier than yung dating yeah. minimum banks. <laughs> okay, so um, since you're already with GCash, so what funds are you invested in sa GCash and uh, uh, what funds would you recommend? Yes, uh, so. I'm invested in the Global Consumer Trends Fund mm-hmm. and the um, Technology Feeder Fund, the Global Technology Feeder Fund. Um, right now, actually, it seems that the U.S. market, because it's really down, especially the tech sector. Yeah, that's um, correct. Don't, uh-huh. I don't know when it's really going to recover, but it seems that it's a good time to buy right now. No, uh, right. Actually, uh-huh. both. Um, it may seem uh, and I, I also address this in in my own channel no na parang mm-hmm. uh, I also say don't panic right now na because to be honest I mean when you look at it most of us siguro invested last year no and we yeah, invested like, down ka talaga now I mean there's no way around right, it right. Uh, you're really gonna see negative amounts there um, I get comments also on my page bakit ganon <laughs> then <laughs> oh, I, it, it's for me it's it's really a buying opportunity um, maybe little by little maybe a little every month so yeah. it's, it's it's a good time that's a good practice actually mm-hmm. and anyway uh, investment naman talaga is really for the long term so you have to stay the course diba? so uh, for, for G Invest naman uh, how long were you invested in G Invest? Uh, G Invest last year. Yeah, last year when you launched mga a Feb to April around that time mm-hmm, when mm-hmm. I started. So major roller coaster ka ngayon. Yun yung feeling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but yun nga, but hindi na nagpapanic. <laughs> oh, kasi, that's good. Kasi alam mo na, di ba? You, you yeah. know how the market goes. It goes up and down, di ba? Yeah. Okay. So, um, syempre, for those starting out pa lang, uh, what advice would you give or anything worth noting down when it comes to investment based on your experience, syempre? Uh-huh. Um, for me, for anyone looking to invest, um, mm-hmm. looking at different platforms, different uh yun nga, for me this my my premise for this is ano no is in my own channel yun nga, i usually get some comments like is this better what's the best uh what's the cheapest what's ano mm-hmm. but for me honestly my unbiased advice is just you know just start doing it um mm-hmm. you're not gonna find I, I think a lot of people tend to get 
uh, caught up in finding what's the best. Ito talaga yung yeah. best. Yeah, oo. Nahuhuli na. Oo. So, but, ang the best is just, just do it right now. Invest uh, right away. Um, mm-hmm. And also, you know, don't, don't try to have the perfect investment because there's no such thing. Um, and yeah, especially if you're new, just try out different things. Um, you might like different platform. I mean, you might like different um, different types of investments. <clears throat> Baka mm-hmm. mas, mas suitable ka for bond funds, for money mm-hmm. market funds, or maybe you're more fitting to the global funds game. So, uh, right now, also, that's what I would advise um, a lot of uh, investors who are just starting out. Na, mm-hmm. um, especially, let, we, we have to take advantage of the minimal fees that, the minimal mm-hmm. amount mm-hmm. that uh, that are being offered uh, like by you guys. So, yeah. um, it's very easy to be diversified, to put your eggs in many baskets now because it's mm-hmm. you know, And then, once you find something that you really like, then maybe put more. But, so that's my advice. Na para really try and try as much as you can. Because um, it, it's us for the taking now for for the investors and would-be investors. Correct. Okay. So I just would like to ask, no. So why did you choose uh, those funds, the consumer, and then the technology? And I know you also have a global financial fund with Seedbox, right? Yes, uh, so why did you choose those funds? Uh, to Going back, no. Um, habi ko nga earlier, like I'm, I was always, I guess, somewhat curious about yung, or maybe the magic of Wall Street. <laughs> I mean, ah, I, I okay. mean, so uh-huh. it's a move. So. So it's um, for, it's your first step. Yes. Yeah, so, to parang ganon. Okay. And um, yun nga when, like I said, <laughs> when, when I got started, uh, mid two thousands, it was all local funds. Correct. Uh-huh. And then. Only in the last five years, talaga, did the markets open, the platforms open for for global equities, no. Yeah. So, um, so for me, that's why I specifically sought sought out the uh, these funds, the global equity funds, because mm-hmm. um, you know, first I feel like when you invest in the foreign markets, they they tend to be more volatile, but they're mm-hmm. also you can you can get better returns in in the long run um especially siyempre, i mean put it simply like they're in the first world developed nations and you know their infrastructure is much more um put together so when they recover they really recover so much more mm-hmm. so that's my interest and also um well be- before ano kasi, before g invest and mm-hmm. C- um, in 2017, I was already investing in a global equity fund in one of the local banks. Okay. Um, pero the the minimum there was really expensive. Yeah. Kasi, Correct. Um, first, I had to I had to convert my peso into dollar. dollar. Mm-hmm. Ano exchange rate at that time? Um, oh no. So convert, open uh open a open dollar a, account. A dollar account, yeah minimum pa na may minimum maintaining balance and then yung minimum was 1000 US dollars to get started in a global equity fund and then yun nga, so when I saw that G invest was of offering this at was offering this at just 1000 pesos so sobrang layo ng minimum so before the hurdle was so high um, yes mabuti bago ka makapasok and with this it, it's so much easier now Correct, correct. No? So, talagang Atram opened the doors for those funds to enter the Philippine market. So, and then it also, they made it easier nga for you to invest kahit uh, it's a global fund, diba? So, you can invest in peso. Diba? So, yun. And also, can you share us your experience naman when you invested in Seedbox? Yeah, Seedbox. No? Um, actually, I, I, I discovered Seedbox. <laughs> box um when you know when i was i was registering via gcash but i think at that time they were i guess major overwhelmed yung system mm-hmm. uh, ah, okay, so sabi ko uh, hanap ako ng ibang way <laughs> so um I discovered. I discovered seed box and then but even at that time seed box actually had i think a one month waiting list for the kyc 
Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, other than the waiting part, actually, it was it was fast, naman. Um, uh, the call that I mean, I waited a month, but the KYC call was actually just I think two minutes. Uh, okay. But madali naman, and then um, I think the difference lang with GCash and Seedbox was that. Uh, of course, G- Gcash has already the payments platform, so must must seamless. Um, Seedbox has more instructions um, going through it, uh, so mm-hmm. you have to be more careful lang in inputting the details. But everything is in the email; it's easy to follow. Um, and what I yeah. like about Seedbox, um, Seedbox when compared to Atram, is the multitude of available uh, funds. investments yeah investment funds on mm-hmm. the system no kasi, kasi nga sa sa atra ah, sorry sa gcash there's only the two na foreign funds so consumer trend and uh, mm-hmm. technology feeder fund while in um while in atram that's why i invested in nga there yung global financial feeder fund um and i see a lot eh. i know there's an infrastructure fund, there's an emerging markets fund, there's a dividends fund. So um, if you, you can really zone in on different sectors or industries, um, especially so if you're reading news on US market and you don't have to pick out a specific stock. So especially now that it's down, it's better to have uh, to be invested in a in an industry. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Uh, that's what I like most about uh, investing by a seed box is that there's a lot more to choose from when comparing to Gcash. Gcash, okay. So um, yeah, because there's five funds in G Invest, mm-hmm. and parang most of our funds talaga is in seed box. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. also, Matt, na curious lang ako no, because your channel, your YouTube channel, really covers a lot of personal finance and investments. Bakit? Yes. What made you do that or ganyan, di ba? Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate that personalized question. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, my, my, my channel really started, um, well, first, you know, upload lang during the pandemic, so may konting travel vids, ganyan. Mm-hmm. And then, um well what i really focused on was uh was on the entrepreneurship side so okay. i think that's when, and I, that's when a lot of my friends actually commended me for my channel so how i how i left my job ganun, um mm-hmm. so on the entrepreneurship side um i actually wanted to focus on that but mm-hmm. um of course you know entrepreneurship stories are hard to come by or I mean, it's 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 very very, I guess, subjective. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, naman, going back, I was always invested in financial instruments. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think in many ways, my channel is still about entrepreneurship as a whole. But finance is a really a strong side because I wouldn't have gotten there if I if hadn't I not uh, had I not uh, had I not you know been ready uh, mm-hmm. invested and um, really had a discipline not to be only saving but investing as well so for me kabit kabit yun eh, yung the entrepreneurship side the finance yeah. side the saving side so that's why i focused on um focus on the finance and uh, of course there's more material also once you get there and i think you know mas, mas relatable yung finance investments um rather than entrepreneurship again so it, it's definitely a a pillar of that whole uh of that whole idea. So um, that's why I found myself delving more and more into finance and investments. Uh, especially you know, I've had I've had years naman na of ano, of uh, experience. Of, yeah. Okay, so Mark, um, what advice can you give yung mga nagsistart pa lang mag-invest? Syempre, ngayon, di ba, mabilis na mag-invest, sabi mo nga, di ba? And then, so, ano yung ma-advice mo sa kanila? Kasi parang, andyan na lahat, eh. All you have to do is just to press invest. Mm-hmm. Parang ganun. Yeah. So, yun nga, right, right now, sabi ko na parang, it's us for the taking for those wanting to invest. There, there are so many options to choose from. Um, 
I think number one would be really finding yung um, credible people that that you could invest in, credible companies such as Atram, mm-hmm. um, because you know, and daming platforms and daming uh, you know, daming paring nagre recruit ng mga tao sa mga multi level yeah. ganyan. Oh. I mean, I mean, madami kang pwedeng pag-investan and then also there's crypto but yeah. um but yung know, the platforms are not well some of them are here but you know you can do it by abroad ganyan so i guess ano lang um the step one would be really identifying the type of uh company or that that you can work with so do some background check uh Mm-hmm. How, yes, of uh, course, that's important. How credible and who are their partners? So, like with Atram, it's um, Globe and you know, and then many other uh, partners. So uh, that's number one. And then, yun nga, like you mentioned earlier, um, just try, try, uh, try many different things. Um, yeah. In 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 seed box, nga, I, I, there must be. I don't know how many funds you have. Mga, mga at least two dozen, siguro. Ganyan. Three dozen. So, alami. So, and yun naman, kahit lagay ka pa unti-unti lang, it, it's gonna, yeah, so, you get to see how much, uh, what you like. Test the waters, parang ganun. Oo. Uh, <laughs> and then, yun nga, um, for those of you looking to invest or new to investing, and then you found yourself watching this video, um, so that's that's already a good thing in itself na yeah. you're spending your free time to watch something that not just to entertain you but something yeah. that you can get some knowledge from so tuloy niyo lang yun i mean of course you can't help sa youtube you get to all the different content oh, there's a lot diba tiktok uh, youtube facebook oh dami, diba? so um so yes yeah, so spend some time uh weekly just watching different uh, finance channels you can watch abroad you can uh, you can watch i mean content creators from abroad uh, advice ganyan and even locally isa na ako doon <laughs> like, <look. laughs> um, so you just uh just keep watching keep an keep an open uh mind and open eye to the opportunities out there um and then um i maybe now no maybe looking at the I know. Looking at the situation now that the markets mm-hmm. are really down, um, yun nga, na just you know, don't don't be rattled by what's happening actually. And if anything, this is the right time to be coming in. Um, it's good if you keep uh, updated with latest news, and yeah. Para eventually you see later on how you know all of this inflation and the war in Ukraine, how it affects the market, the oil prices. You you won't have to figure it out yourself, but it's good if you can connect, you know, different variables just just so you have something to work with in the future. And then yun nga, I think I mentioned earlier, no, and and I I also mentioned this in in my own channel na na when when the stock global stock market crashed in 2008 and then uh-huh, you know, yes. i mean and then people were out and then of course the news will always say the the worst of it the news will always exaggerate yeah. but you just have to keep calm um so yeah so 2008 had i stayed more in the market then um and didn't panic as my first i know first time to learn Mas okay sana. I mean, I would have had it, gotten better returns, especially if I hung on to those. My counting uh, regrets, no? Oh, okay. <laughs> Even, no, no. And maybe this is more um, relatable now, no? Noong March yeah. to April 2020, when the yeah. pandemic. So, bagsak. Yeah. Super uh, bagsak yun, oo. So, and many, maybe some of the viewers of this, uh, of, of, of our channel now are uh, we're already invested. Maybe some hindi pa, wala pa kasi si invest nun. Pero, um, so yun nga, there, are, there, there will always be historical events that show yes. that um, bagsak naman talaga ng bagsak yung market. Pero it, usually, the these drops are are 
are temporary. The road yeah. to recovery is all is, is so, always always bounce back. Yeah, must must ano must must rely must you can always rely now when the market goes down it, it eventually goes up. Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe not. Yes. Not month. Pero eventually it does. No nobody knows. So um and while it's down, just keep investing because. It, it it's really a good time to be buying uh during this para sabi nila, sale period to yeah super volatile diba <laughs> okay and then syempre they have nothing to worry naman because there's a professional manager uh, like yes. Atram uh, that will do the job for them mm-hmm. diba that's yeah. why nga eh diba uh we were actually offering a lot of financial literacy we have a lot of webinars um, just to promote financial literacy and siyempre, um, uh, it's actually for the growth then of the economy. So, Mark, I really, really like your attitude, no? That you really take time to invest for yourself and for others by having, siyempre, your YouTube channel for financial literacy. So, alam ko, madaming gumagawa noon, pero parang na amaze lang ako kasi parang, talagang ang daming gustong ang daming tao na gustong mag-share ng kanilang knowledge on on financial literacy on investments on savings kasi syempre tayo alam mo naman tayo mga Pilipino diba there's the herd yeah. <laughs> yung susunod ka kung saan syempre pag meron talagang ano tawag nga doon influencer so talagang sumusunod sila syempre gagawa din sila ng sarili nilang review, di ba? And research. Wag lang yung, ah, dito ako kasi dito lahat. Siyempre, wag ganun, di ba? Yeah. So, you just have to do the research, research for yourself. And siyempre, it would be a reputable um, investment company or yun. Okay, so Mark, any last words? Yes. Uh, so, I just wanted to thank you guys for inviting me. Uh, thank you to Atram and um, I encourage everyone to subscribe to the Atram Studio channel where we're currently at today. Um, and also, uh, please drop by also my channel. Uh, it's Zigging by Mark Sig. Um, so it, my channel is really covering uh, general lifestyle, but uh, me counting travel. But, yeah, counting <laughs> ano. Um, but I think maybe half of my videos are in personal finance and investments. I mean, and and i'm really just trying to share my experiences what i know um a lot about entrepreneurship pero yan nga um wala kasi din yung entrepreneurship if not for the saving the investing and all the finance that that really do make up the, an integral part of my day-to-day living so um so please do drop by my channel as well there you have it guys thank you so much mark thank you thank Bye. you for having me. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your story with us, Mark. And now, to walk us through his very own investment journey, let's welcome JC Oreste. So JC is a certified public accountant and a certified security specialist and is currently employed in the banking sector. He is also a YouTube blogger with more than 21,000 subscribers, so sharing lessons about investing. Now, let's hear his story and get inspired. Hello, JC. Good day. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. So, uh, we would like to know or we're interested to know, how did you hear about Atram? Hello, Jaja. Uh, thank you for inviting me as well. And I've heard about Atram sa social media, so particularly sa Facebook. Ayun, mm-hmm. uh, last year kasi around 2021, March of 2021, naghahanap ako ng investment mm-hmm. uh, yung globally. So okay. ayun, may nakita ako na advertisement ng GCash na mag offer sila ng investment. And nakita mm-hmm. ko merong global funds doon. And it's being handled by Atram. So dalaway nakita ko global funds actually. Mm-hmm. And it's technology and consumer funds. So ayun, so that's how I heard about Asha. So, nakita ko siya sa social media and I think that it's a very good opportunity for me na mag-invest and have exposure globally mm-hmm. then since it's part of my diversification as well. Okay. So, yun nga, no? So, talagang from the start talaga, you really would like to invest. So, if I may ask, what motivate you to invest? 
So, ang nag-motivate sa akin talaga mag-invest is the pandemic. Since oh, okay. nakita ko yung stock market natin really plummeted or masyado siyang bumagsak. And ayun, naka-recover siya. And I saw this as an opportunity to grow my money. Since yung money mm-hmm. ko before the pandemic, nasa bank ko lang. And okay. every month talaga nag-save ako. Mm-hmm. And ayun, hindi siya lumalaki doon kung, ano, kung magkano siya iniwan ko. Hindi mo mararamdaman <laughs> kasi talaga na lumalaki yung money mo kapag ka nasa bank lang. Kaya ayun, that motivated me to invest kasi uh, habang mababa yung presyo, habang bagsak yun mm-hmm. in the pandemic, is okay. kapag ka naman nakarecover to is kikita yung ating pera. So ayun yung okay. nag-motivate sa akin mag-invest. Okay, so uh, this is your first time to invest pala? Uh, June 2020, uh, nung nag-invest ako. So March 2020, ah, di ba, yung pandemic natin. Oo, oh, oh, oh. so natin. tama-tama yung pasok mo, no? Parang mm-hmm. talagang bagsak yung mm-hmm. market noon. Mm-hmm. And then takot talaga yung mga tao mag-invest. Mm-hmm. Okay, so tell us about your investment journey with Atram. So, my investment journey with Atram, I actually started last year lang, around mm-hmm. March 2021 when it was first offered by Gcash. Mm-hmm. And ayun, nag, nag-invest ako sa dalawang fund, so consumer and technology. So, last mm-hmm. year, uh, last year um, okay yung performance kasi nga yung market natin is very yes. much uh, performing mm-hmm. well. But this 2022, alam naman natin, madaming global events na nangyari, di ba? So starting mm-hmm. January 2022, meron dyan Ukraine-Russia tension. Mm-hmm. And from that time, alam ko na since this is an aggressive fund, mm-hmm. medyo magiging malaki yung impact dito. Kaya um, starting March 2022, so I have reduced yung aking exposure. So as part of okay. my risk management as well. So okay. medyo reduce ko siya. And kaya ngayon, yung investment ko mostly nasa cash and I'm ready to deploy again kapag medyo okay na. So right now, I'm very much happy with my position and ibabalik mm-hmm. ko to kapag medyo okay na kasi ngayon, bagsak yung prices again and like nung pandemic, di ba, bumagsak din yung mga presyo mm-hmm. and it was mm-hmm. an opportunity to invest. And ganun din yung nakikita ko sa panahon ngayon. So ibabalik ko ulit siya kapag medyo okay. Okay, so tanong ko lang, no? So when you started investing, so were you scared? Were you excited? What was the feeling back then compared to now? So nung nag-invest ako, medyo excited ako kasi mm-hmm. nga, it's going to be my first investment. Ang mm-hmm. thinking ko pa nun is, kikita ako dito ng malaki. Pero yung nag-invest kasi ako is hindi ganun ka ganda pa yung market. So market. It's just the... Uh-huh. Uh, pandemic pa, so hindi pa nakaka-recover. So, medyo loss pa ako nung uh, mm-hmm. nag-start ako. But, ayun, since nag-loss ako, nag-aral talaga ako, nag-aral. And, ayun, right now, yung feeling ko, uh, ano na, parang normal na sa akin yung, ano, yung mga gantong situation, uh-huh. and I can handle it. So, yung uh, before kasi, nung hindi pa ako masyado maalam. So, kung saan-saan nalang ako nag-invest, but okay. ngayon, um, I really practice yung proper risk management. So, ayun na nga, isa okay. din yung diversification. Kaya, nag-invest din ako globally. At least, may exposure ako. Kasi before, nasa local market lang ako. Ayun. So, okay, ayun. so parang so, Atram na opened na the door. Parang Atram opened the door for you, for global investment naman. Hmm. Parang ganun kasi, yung nangyari. Kasi before, Ma'am Jaja, uh, if you i'm um, going i'm ser- i'm really searching for yung broker para mm-hmm. maka purchase ka ng stocks uh, globally and mm-hmm. napakahirap humanap ng legit na broker na mm-hmm. pwede ka mag-invest and usually malaki talaga yung capital na kailangan mm-hmm. but uh, with the atram investment sa g invest as low as 1000 pesos pwede ka right. na magkaroon ng exposure so fit na fit sa in peso pa Mm-mm. And it's in peso pa. You don't need to buy dollar no, or convert your peso to dollar Mm-mm. para mag-invest globally. Mm-mm. Okay. So, John, if I may ask, no? so parang ngayon kasi you do a lot of research, talagang um, alam mo na yung investment, alam mo yung pinapasukan mo. Currently, uh, what are you doing? Are, are you working? Are you, do you have business? So currently, uh, I'm working as an auditor 
at a local bank. So, okay. and then at night, and kung mayroon ako ano, uh, uh, pera na pang-invest, so medyo nag research din ako ng konti. So, ayun. And then, um, part-time nag-YouTube din ako. So, I'm a YouTube vlogger. So, meron 21,000 um, subscribers. Ayun. So, minsan nagtuturo din ako. So, online, nag na ako. So, as part of my part-time para at least mag-increase yung cash flow ko. Okay. Pinang i-invest ko din yung mga kinikita ko actually. Oh, okay. So parang nagro-roll lang siya, no? So parang okay. it's parang compounding talaga siya. Mm-hmm. Kung so, yung kinita ko sa part-time ko and then kikita ulit siya sa investment. So oh, pwede oh, yung ginagawa. Oh, oh. So parang ano talaga, parang ano ba tawag doon? So parang firing on all cylinders, no? Parang ganun siya. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, so do you eto question lang no so do you invest based on your emotion based on impulse or when you have available funds so uh, i invest lang every month talaga ah, you do uh, so yung yung investment ko kasi uh, combination siya so meron akong mga investment na hindi ko na inaaral like nga itong sa atrom mm-hmm. since uh-huh. meron tong fund manager fund every manager. month maglalagay na lang ako dito. So, regardless of the price. Kasi ito yung purpose ng mga UITF and mutual fund correct. natin. Dito. So, we do not trade it. So, ayun yung ginagawa ko dito. But meron din akong investments na ako yung nag-handle. So, nag-trade. So, it requires more time, syempre, i-analyze. Mm-hmm. So, yun yung ginagawa ko sa investments ko. Okay. So, oh, kasi if you invest in mutual fund or in UITF, there's a professional fund manager doing the job for you. Yun nga. Okay. Yun nga yung ginagawa ni Atram. Okay. So, um, so how, diba? So, you invested mga 2020, no? So, when you invested, syempre, you have a goal in mind, diba? Why did you invest? So, basically, uh, that goal is if you could say ba, uh, na-reach mo na, na-achieve mo na ba, like mga 15% of that goal, 20% of that goal that you set for yourself. So, how is it going so far, yung investment journey? So, yung investment journey ko, uh, during 2020, uh, goal ko noon, since medyo nalos talaga ako noon, is mm-hmm. makabawi at the end of the year ng 2020. And nabawi ko naman yung uh, nalos ko nung June 20 na nag-start ako kasi medyo nag-recover siya nung at the end of mm-hmm. 2020. And noong 2021, since uh, uh, may, merong uh, Delta variant noon, uh-huh. yes. I took that opportunity again to buy at lower prices. And ayun, na-realize ko siya ng November 2021. Kaya na-reach ko yung goal ko. Actually, my goal is just 10% wow. annually. And more than that yung yung na-achieve uh, yung. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. So kasi, syempre, no, um, meron pa rin tayong fears, di ba? Kasi investment naman talaga is volatile yan, eh. So ano yung mga fears mo? Or meron ka pa bang fear? Kasi alam mo na, pag bumagsak yung market, dun ka bibili pag tumaas, kasi eventually tataas naman siya. So, ngayon ba may mga fears ka pa about investing? So, with regard to fear ngayon, uh, medyo comfortable na ako mag-invest kasi nga, medyo I know that the market is very much cyclical. Mm-hmm. So, it yeah. goes into phases like tataas siya, pero hindi naman siya tataas forever. May time na bababa siya, di ba? And that will be a great opportunity for us to invest kasi mas gusto mong maka mura, di ba? So, buy mm-hmm. low. So, yung investment mo, mas mura mo. Para kapag ka naka-recover siya, is meron kang investment. Okay? Rather than uh, buying, kapag ka mataas na siya or naka-recover na siya, di ba? So, ayun. So, are you st- are you planning to add more funds in your um, portfolio? Ganyan. And are what funds are you looking into? Kasi currently, right now, you have technology, right? Okay. Uh, so, so are you planning, add? Uh, I'm planning to add yung add back yung consumer kasi tinanggal ko siya sa portfolio mm-hmm. kasi mm-hmm. medyo na hit na yung risk ko doon. Pero Uh-oh. right now I see it as an opportunity since uh medyo talagang bumagsak siya and mm-hmm. ayun uh, it, it's an opportunity again for me to buy back at lower prices. 
So, ayun, at the end of the, uh, kapag ka naka-recover na, or medyo okay na yung mga funds natin, or yung globe, yung economic events natin, is i-add back ako. Okay. So, hindi naman tayo nasa nag-rarash kapag ka nag invest tayo. Tama, tama naman yan. Okay, so so having said that, no, uh, JC, so what advice, if ever, would you give to those who are starting out? Kasi diba you have your YouTube channel and you have 21,000 subscribers, ang dami no na. So ang dami talagang nare-reach ng, ng YouTube channel mo. So uh, what advice can you give the first timers or yung parang natatakot pang mag-invest? So yung mga natatakot pang mag-invest or yung talagang hindi pa nag-invest at all, So mm-hmm. you may consider these times na bagsak yung prices again as an opportunity for you to start your investment journey kasi mas okay na doon ka mag-start kapag ka bagsak yung market kaysa doon mm-hmm. ka sa nag mataas na impression na recover na kasi mm-hmm. the opportunity is much more kapag ka mababa yung prices natin. So kapag ka nag start ka pa lang, it's very a good opportunity for you to explore. Mm-hmm. So what's your experience naman when you opened your account with uh, G Invest, ba? Diba? So is it smooth? Kinyan? Uh, how do you find it? Kasi before, I'm not sure if you're doing, um, ba? Diba, you're doing stock trading right now. Uh, before ba nag-open ka, you, you still sign up the forms and then you send the documents over. E ngayon kasi diba lahat online na. So how do you find it? So, yung nag-start kasi ako, uh, pandemic na. So, online na din yun. Online. Uh-huh. Pero, ayun, uh, medyo mga da- madami pa rin documents that you need to fill out. But, um, yung sa G-Invest, since verified na yung account ko, medyo uh-huh. hindi ko na nga naramdaman na parang nag- nag-register ako kasi very smooth siya. And uh-huh. parang sag- very saglit lang ako nag- nag-register. Parang less than five minutes ata tapos na yung uh, registration ko doon. Uh-huh. So, napakadaling mag- register dito. Okay, so um JC any last words or to our to our viewers, 'di ba? Uh, when it comes to investing, what can you say or what um if you have fears, you can share it with them and then kung ano talaga yung and what's your passion about investing? Uh, bakit gustong-gusto mag-invest and you really have that advocacy in, in you, no? 'Di ba? Na really to teach um or fellow Filipinos for financial literacy. So, any last words? So, um, para dun sa mga nag start pala mag-invest or nag-start na mag-invest pero pangat yung start nyo. Mm-hmm. So, take this opportunity to uh, study and learn more about investments. Um, kasi nung ako nag-start ako, talagang yung loss ko, uh, malaki talaga. So, around, mm-hmm. sabihin ka yung amount. So, nasa 20,000 more than mm-hmm. siya. And, based on my capital it very mm-hmm. much deeper but again so hindi pero ayun hindi ako sumuko na mag-invest and after a year na bawi ko yung loss ko and uh, kumita na ako ng six digits so more than six digits sa pag-invest uh, ko so ayun ang advice ko sa mga nag-invest or nag-start pala mag-invest okay yung susuko kasi um, there will always be opportunity in the market hindi yan nawagal Yes, and investment naman kasi talaga is for the long term. So, since right now, very volatile yung market, we have to stay the course and then let the fund managers do their job, ba? Diba? That's why they're here nga eh, ba? Diba? So, yun nga. So, JC, I really, really like your passion, no? You really take time to invest for yourself and for others kasi, yeah, based on your YouTube channel nga. You can promote your YouTube channel para. Go ahead. So, para dun sa mga gustong matuto about investment. So, I am vlogging about actual investment. So, you can follow my YouTube channel. Uh, ang, pa- ang pangalan niya, Giancarlo Oreste, CPA, CSS. So, yung CSS stands for Certified Securities Specials. Okay, so yun guys. So, you can also follow at Trump Studio, our official YouTube channel. Thank you so much and have a good day ahead. Thank you so much, Jaja.
thank you, Mark and JC, for that inspiring conversation. But did you know, at Atram, we have a complete product suite from the most conservative investor to the most aggressive investor. So depending on your goals and your risk profile, let me just share with you some of the funds that we have to get you started. Okay, so for Atram Asset Management, we have the Atram Corporate Bond Fund. This fund is for stability. This fund will put your mind at ease, especially now, knowing how volatile the market is, giving you a positive return during these crazy times. So for Atram Trust Management, for Atram Trust Corp, naman, we have the Atram Total Return Peso Bond Fund. This fund actually manage volatility in your portfolio. So best if you want to build your travel fund or you want to buy your dream car or a dream wedding. So looking around three to five years investment horizon. Also, Atram paved the way for you to invest in global funds. So we have the Atram Global Allocation Feeder Fund. This fund, same with the total return, will help manage volatility in this uncertain times. And this fund's ability to sustain growth and generate value over the long term. So stay invested for the long term. We also have the Atram Global Infra Equity Feeder Fund and the Atram Global Healthcare Feeder Fund. So these are defensive investments naman. Meaning, these are the things that you cannot postpone spending. Why? Because you need energy day to day, you need healthcare, medicine, and right now we're all going out. And diba, ngayon pwede na tayo hindi magmas sa public or sa open spaces. So the reopening stories continues. And for that, so we need to travel for work. Of course, merong leisure. So you'll need airport, bridges, seaports to transfer goods from farm to your table. And finally, we have the Atram Global Financial Speeder Fund, of course, Taking advantage of the high interest rates, invest in financials are the banks as the banks are the sectors that will benefit from the high interest environment that we are experiencing right now. So there you have it. So be inspired by our real investor stories and hopefully it motivated you to start investing in our local and global funds. Wherever you are, whoever you are, there's always a right investment product for you. You just need to believe in your capacity that you can and that set that goal to reach your dream. So start browsing our website where you can access all of our funds. That's www.atram.com.ph to know more and there's a tool to help you out what's the ideal investment for you. Again, thank you so much, Mark and JC. We learned a lot today. And of course, thank you to our audience. We appreciate you taking the time to join us today. So if you have similar success stories, feel free to send us a message and we will have another run of Atram Investor Stories. So Atram has a wide range of investment products and our capabilities span across several asset classes meant to service the different investment objectives of each individual. So here at Atram, we have the right funds that would match your goals and corresponding risk return profile. So for more detailed information about all the funds that we offer, please visit our website that's www.atram.com.ph. It is with great pride that we announce that Atram has won the Best Investment Solutions Provider Philippines 2022 from International Business Magazine Award and World Business Outlook Awards as well as highly commended asset management company of the Philippines by the Asset AAA Sustainable Investing Awards 2022. And to add, the Atram Alpha Opportunity Fund Inc. has also won the Best Ma Managed Fund of the Year by the CFA Society of the Philippines. So it's a mouthful no, and damning award. So for today's session, we hope to have somehow assisted you to hashtag take on tomorrow by investing your hard-earned money with an award-winning fund house. Hashtag together we can reach our goals. With that, I'm sure you guys are interested to know how to invest in at Trump Funds. So please tune in to know more. Good day. If you are interested in investing with Atram, the leading independent asset and wealth management company in the Philippines, please visit our website, www.atram.com.ph. 
we have all the details you would need to know about our funds. If you would like to start investing, click Invest Now. For further assistance and account opening, you may email our client services team. If you have more questions, visit the website's Frequently Asked Questions page or Atrum Academy page. We hope this helps. Thank you. Again, if you're just starting out in this world of finance and investments or a seasoned investor who would like to be in the loop for the latest investment news and strategies, we have some wonderful resources to get you started. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, that's Atrum Studio. And if you have friends who you think would like this webinar but are unable to attend, a replay of this session will be posted on our official, official YouTube channel. So don't forget to click the notification bell so you get notified on all your from all on all your devices when new videos are uploaded. So also, please don't forget to visit our website www.atram.com.ph for more detailed information about all the funds that we offer. You may also scan the QR code to visit our official social media pages. Lastly, please answer the survey at the end of this webinar. We would love to know your thoughts on today's topic. On behalf of everyone at Atram, thank you again for your attendance and participation. We wish you and your loved ones continued health and safety. Have a great day ahead.